up you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel we're back with another shopping video i've been really enjoying making these and you guys seem to enjoy them as well i want to keep them going and i'm probably going to do more in different stores i kind of want to do like a tj maxx and marshall's one and maybe we'll do like walmart and target i don't know y'all let me know what you would like to see first but this time around i went into a brand new store actually i don't know how long this location has been around in my area but i've never been to one of these stores before i wanted to check out pop shelf because this is still fairly new and i'm pretty sure not 100 percent but it's like a sister company to five below they're somehow kind of connected and i've heard a little bit here and there about this store but i never gone actually in to check it out i think whenever i was getting all the footage and everything whenever i went into the store the first time it was it was like a month ago or so i still hadn't done the haul portion of this video so all the stuff that i had gotten i have just had here in this bag because i've been waiting to film this video i didn't really get a lot of stuff either i was just mainly wanting to go in and see what they had i did find a couple products that i really hadn't seen in any other stores found a couple rare items which is nice saw a couple other brands that i see in other like dollar stores so they have a lot of affordable products very similar to five below i want to say everything is around like five maybe ten dollars max they almost had this like market area the day that i went in i was actually pretty hungry so a lot of the snacks were looking good they had a lot of like different snacks that I don't usually see at my grocery store, some like organic stuff. Had a lot of different candy as well. They had just like a whole little kind of grocery section. They had a lot of cleaning supplies as well, which were all pretty affordable. So I was kind of going through the aisles just to see what they had. The whole setup of the store really reminded me a lot of Five Below. And then they had basically like the whole other half of the store was all home decor. So I really didn't go into much detail about all the other stuff in the store. I was just browsing around. I was trying to see if they had any candles or wax Melts, but they actually did have a lot of cute stuff if you're wanting to like decorate your room or something like that But I mainly went in and focused on the body care hygiene like beauty section of the store That's what I'm going to take you guys through and share with you the clips that I got in store And we'll go ahead and wrap things up at the end of the video with the haul So if this is your first time watching never seen any of my videos before I do videos all about hygiene body care and fragrance I do a ton of different haul videos as well So if those are videos that you love to watch as well, I would love to have you subscribe Make sure to turn your post notifications that way you guys won't miss an upload i do post new videos every single week and i will also have my tiktok and instagram linked down below as well okay so we're walking up to the store and already i can tell this used to be a walgreens i think you can even still see on the sign there that it used to say walgreens and i went ahead and grabbed a basket i actually ended up grabbing a basket after walking around the store for a bit just because i was finding some goodies there and my hands are starting to get full here's a little overview of the store but you know mainly we're going in on the beauty section i wanted to see what body care maybe some fragrances kind of wanted to see what they had first off i noticed a brand that i have also seen in dollar general i've talked about this brand before i think i picked up i know for sure i picked up this like strawberry raspberry one i tried the fragrance mist and the lotion i mean i'm not gonna lie to you guys and i'm sure if you saw that video i was not really a huge fan of you know the smell of the lotions or the fragrance mist even though it is a more affordable brand however i did notice the brand good baths was there and this you can also find a dollar general and it's basically the same price and i feel like the scent on these is so much better i feel like they have like a little bit of everything they have some sweeter scents they have some fruity scents some more fresh scents so i later noticed um, that they actually had the scent notes there on the back so i went back just to share with you guys the scents that they do have and the scent notes i was going through them kind of fast so sorry about that you might have to pause to read the set notes but I think my two favorites would probably be this one the sweet Sunday or the cozy hour I think it was just because those are like the sweeter ones out of the collection but you know there's a little bit in here for everyone depending on what you're looking for so I definitely recommend this one over the scent happy brand and this for sure caught my attention just based off the packaging it they're little like macaron soaps and they're different like fruity scented ones so so yeah, I definitely had to pick those up to try them out. And I didn't even know that Good Baths also had lip balms. So they had some different scents than they do in the body care. And they also had matching hand creams. I even found bath balms, which I was trying to remember. I don't know, they might have these also at Dollar General, but they had all the scents in the same sense as they do with the body care. 
And there on the other side, they had a lot of shower products and just kind of like pampering products. So they had some exfoliating gloves. They had a lot of different like body and face scrubbers. I've actually never even tried exfoliating gloves or like these exfoliating body scrubbers. So let me know if you guys use them and if you think they're worth it. But this really caught my attention because I love these like soap pouches because they make your bar soap last so much longer. So I wanted to grab those. It says here it was a dollar, but I want to say when that rang up, it was like close to three dollars. So I have to double check my receipt. And they also had one of these back scrubbers, which I've seen these on Amazon. I'm pretty sure they're way more than five dollars on Amazon. So I think that was a pretty good deal. And this, I don't even know what this is. It says gel beads body wrap. I don't even know what this is used for or even how you would use it, but it did feel very heavy. Like it felt like it was good quality. And they also had a lot of the satin pillowcases, which I know is supposed to be much better for your hair. I need to make a switch and try one of those out, but I love these gel socks. Like they make your feet feel so moisturized. They're infused with different oils. So I want to try those and they felt very heavy. Like some of this stuff, even though it was like pretty affordable, felt like it would be good quality. So there on the other side, I really didn't go too much into this stuff, but they did have like a small makeup section. I'm not really familiar with this brand, but everything was a dollar. They had a lot of lip products and then they had some Dr. Teal. So they did have some more name brand stuff, but then there was other brands that I also hadn't heard of before. I also noticed with the name brand stuff, it wasn't like at a cheaper price than you would find at Walmart or Target or any other store. They did also have a small feminine hygiene section. So they had some wipes, they had some different washes. I noticed that they did have the ASOS cranberry pills, which I've tried those before, the gummy ones, sure, but that one line right above the Tampex tampons, I'm pretty sure that was an organic brand. I haven't heard of that one though. And then there on the other side was more of the body care section. So I noticed a few of my favorites, like this St. Ives one, that one smells so good. If you've been wanting a good, like almost like oatmeal cookies, that body wash I definitely recommend. They also had a lot of Love Beauty and Planet. I noticed some of the body washes and some hair care, but right next to there, you guys see that? Yeah, that is a rare find. I rarely ever see the Tree Hut bubble baths. I'm pretty sure these have been discontinued. Every now and then you might find like a bubble bath or a body wash at Marshalls or TJ Maxx, but you know, I had to pick that up because I rarely ever see those. And then everything else was, you know, similar stuff that we see at Walmart, Target, your local grocery store. A few of my favorites though, like I do love the soft soap body washes. I love the swab ones, like that milk and honey one smells so good. I was excited to see so many different bar soaps. Like they had a lot of Dove bar soaps, which those are my favorites. But then there was a lot of other ones that I had never heard of. And I feel like like $5 for one bar soap, that's expensive. That's more than Dove. And I feel like I haven't really found many other bar soaps that are better than Dove. But yeah, just a lot of other random bar soaps that I had never really heard of before. I still need to try that anti-stress one from Dove. I heard that one's really good. And then I saw these, they had a whole line of these scrubs which they were three dollars each never heard of them before i was tempted to pick up a few of them just because based off the scent and the scent notes they sounded really good they had a macchiato one which i love coffee scented body care a cherry one like just down to the packaging even they just I don't know, they sounded good and they looked good. So I had to hold myself back and just pick up one. And I was so surprised to see Onyx Bathhouse there because I've really been enjoying their scrubs. I usually find them at Marshalls and TJ Maxx. I've never seen the bubble baths before. And they also had bath salts, which this was a pack of four. So they had some different scents. Some of these scents, or I think most of them, they also have in the scrubs, but probably my favorite would be that one, the Champagne Wishes. That one actually smells really good. And then I think this was the last aisle of the body care section. So towards the back here, they have a bunch of different toothpaste, which a lot of them were like, you know, one to two dollars, which was nice. And they also had a lot of chapsticks and just different lip balm. And then they had a small lotion section. Some lotions I've seen before in other stores. They had some from Love Beauty and Planet, which I think these scents in particular have been discontinued. And I've seen them at like TJ Maxx. And then I saw a whipped 
bath soap from Onyx Bath House. I think I've seen someone share it on Instagram, but I've never found it in stores. So that was a pretty cool find. I'm not crazy about that scent though, that goddess one. And then they also had some shower jellies, which I've also seen people share from this brand, but they had some sweeter scents. Like there's like a cake one or something from that same brand. And then just, you know, other ones that we usually see in stores. They had some Nivea lotions, which I do really like the Nivea lotions. They had the vanilla one. This one was a vanilla sugar and cherry blossom, but I don't know. Sometimes with these like more affordable body care brands, you don't know what to expect. Sometimes they don't really end up smelling like the actual scent notes. And then the other half of that section was all hand soaps, but they did have a lot of the Myers hand soaps and the Method hand soaps, which usually I see those at Target. And then kind of wrapping up, kind of around going back where we first came through. This back wall was all hair products. They did have some sunscreen I noticed back there, but for the most part, all of this was hair products. A lot of the same stuff that we see like at Target, you know, Walmart, all those other stores. And I really didn't notice like a discount on those products. It was, if not, maybe even a little higher than you would find at Walmart. And a couple of these front aisles, I kind of just skimmed over a little bit. There was a lot of skincare, which I have pretty sensitive skin so I have to be very careful with the products that I'm actually putting on my face. Really didn't go through a lot of this stuff here but it was a lot of affordable skincare, a lot of different serums and moisturizers. And they did have a small deodorant section so they had a lot of the Dove deodorants even for men. They had like more of like the fresh kind of like powdery scents. Nothing really too crazy, nothing that I really haven't seen at any other store. They had a couple of the like spray lotions from Dove and some shaving products. Okay, now we can get into the things that I got. So I just got this one bag of stuff here. I've had this put off to the side for a while. Um, I really didn't get too many things. There were just a couple things that kind of caught my attention. I actually still have the receipt here. So everything I got was only three or five dollars. There was only one five dollar item and everything else was three, which I don't think I realized this one product was $5. Maybe I did. Maybe I did see that in stores. Let's go ahead and get into one of the most exciting things that I found. So as you guys saw, I came across this Tree Hut bubble bath. These are pretty like rare finds. I have a couple other bubble baths and body washes from Tree Hut, and I think they have been discontinued. Every now and then you might find them at like a Big Lots, Marshalls, or TJ Maxx. And this actually has a sticker for $5, but when I'm actually looking here on the receipt, it rang up as $3. This is in the scent Pacific Sunrise, which I'm pretty sure this was a scrub scent as well, but I've just never tried it. And it also says Japanese Yuzu here at the bottom. So let's go ahead and give this one another sniff. Fresh kind of floral scent with like some fruitier notes, like some citrus. Just a very bright, refreshing, like light floral scent. It kind of has this like tropical vibe to it. But honestly, the scent isn't too strong. I do think it smells really good actually for a bubble bath. So I'm not mad at it. I've really been into like my bath products lately. So I just wanted to give this one a try. Especially because you just, you rarely ever see these. And for $3, I think that's a really good price. Now I'm curious to see if they're gonna get any other Tree Hut products. Like maybe we'll see some lotions, maybe even some scrubs, like some discontinued ones. That would be really nice. I'll have to go in and to the store again at a later time just to see if they update and get any other new things. But yeah, I was very excited to see this one and they had just a whole bunch of other random body care products. They did have that whole line of different scrubs, which a lot of them sounded really good. But the thing is, with some of these more affordable, just I don't know, kind of random brands or like brands I'm not familiar with. Like the scent or like the name of the scent usually doesn't match the actual scent of the product. A lot of them sounded good, but I wasn't sure exactly how they would smell. And I'm pretty sure they were all sealed in stores, so I couldn't even try to smell them. This is by the brand Bath Elements, I believe. And it says hydrating body scrub, rainbow sprinkles, vanilla, and sweet cream. So let's go ahead and see. First off, you know, I took off the cap here and this does not <laughs> look like a scrub at all. Like it just looks like a lotion. Yeah, see, this is what I was afraid of. This is not a scrub at all. I just put some here on my hand and there is absolutely no exfoliating beads. Like this is, I'm just confused of how they even consider this a scrub. It says exfoliate skin for a smooth and refreshed complexion. Gently buff away dead skin cells without over drying or irritating your skin. I mean, you definitely, I don't think you would irritate your skin because there's absolutely nothing in here to really exfoliate your skin. Just be Feels like you're rubbing lotion on your skin and the scent it just smells like more fresh and clean I'm not really getting the vanilla or the sweet cream uh, definitely this is what I was kind of expecting out of something like this but I was hoping 
maybe it would be good. So I picked up one, thankfully. I wanted to pick up like three of them. I would have been so upset. So this one was marked as $3 and it rang up as $3. Yeah, this is not one I would recommend. I don't even know what to do with this. Maybe I'll just throw it in the shower and see. But to use this as like an actual scrub, it's really not gonna do anything. Okay, this was another random product. I was like, you know what, this could be really bad, but they just look so cute. They're basically little macaron soaps and there's different flavors. So there's blueberry cream cheese, strawberry and apricot it's a set of three and this was also three dollars oh my gosh these are so cute look at these they are tiny though and to think that these are like a dollar each that that's really not the best deal whenever you think about it like the size of these it has a very very faint blueberry smell but i can smell the blueberry if this was a stronger scent it honestly wouldn't be that bad because that one does smell good i love blueberry scented body care products these soaps do kind of have this like waxy feel to them so i don't know really how they would feel on your skin that one smells nice it honestly smells very similar to the blueberry to me i'm not really expecting a whole lot from this apricot one but i figured let's just unwrap it and see this one smells basically like nothing i can hardly smell that one i think the strongest one out of the three would probably be the blueberry but the strawberry smells very similar to that as well so there are definitely some uh hits and misses i mean i already didn't really have very high expectations for this but i just thought the packaging was cute yeah this is something that I probably wouldn't recommend even though I haven't tried it yet it's just I can already kind of tell those are probably not gonna be the best and then the last two things that I got here so this is my one five dollar product and they are moisturizing gel socks I love these I've used them before and they are just so soft I used to use like foot creams and then I would put these on over top they feel almost kind of like silicone on your feet but they're also like fuzzy socks and they're like a very thick material they're kind of scented as well almost has this like rose scent to it these are basically infused with different oils you have jojoba oil olive oil peppermint oil vitamin e oil and lavender oil i'm smelling like the lavender i'm getting like hints of rose in there as well these actually seem pretty good i'm gonna try those out because i just been wearing like sandals and stuff lately so my feet have gotten like a little bit more dry but i've been using like different foot scrubs and different foot creams that almost left my hands feeling a little bit oily but I actually like the scent of that. And then the very last thing that I got is one of these lathering soap pouches. So basically, it's kind of like a soap saver to where you put the entire bar of soap in here. It has a little tie thing in here to where you can tighten it so the bar soap's not falling out. And it's almost kind of like a loofah and it really lathers your soap, but it also makes your bar soap last longer as well. I've had something similar to this in the past, but it was more of like an exfoliating one. This seems a little bit more gentle and just seems more of like the same material as a loofah. But those are the only things that I got. I don't know. I feel like it's like a cute little store to go in every now and then. But I don't know. A lot of these body care products, like the more affordable ones, they definitely can be more hit or miss. If you see anything that kind of catches your attention, only pick up one just to kind of like try it out. These scrubs right here, yeah, these, these I can already tell are going to be a no for me. Probably the soaps, like it is pretty cute, but I mean a dollar each for these like tiny little waxy soaps that hardly have any scent to them. You can just save your money. But if you guys have been into a pop shelf, let me know what your favorite like sections or things to look for in stores. I feel like the better half would probably be the home section for like little knickknacks and things there. They also had like a whole like art supply and like stationery area as well that looked pretty cute. Now I'll probably go next time to check out the snack section because there was like five or six aisles of different snacks. It was an interesting first experience there. I think I would go back, but it's nothing really that I'm in a rush to go back to. I still feel like I probably like five below more. But regardless, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did and want to see more videos like this, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps on my channel and helps on videos whenever you do. So I really appreciate whenever you guys do that. And if you have not already, I would love for you to subscribe. Make sure to turn on your post notifications. That way you guys won't miss an upload. As always, thank you all so, so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!